You're listening to the Curious About Cannabis podcast. Well, yeah, and how many pharmaceuticals do we have that we use and we know the outcomes, but we have no clue how they work? Right. You know, yeah. we don't know the mechanism of action. I heard that over and over in my pharmacology classes. Right. So, you know, that makes sense. Um, you know, it, it, I don't know. Maybe I'm a little more optimistic, but I, I, I agree with you. We're very much in our infancy in this industry and in our knowledge of the plant. We've been stunted thanks to almost a century of prohibition. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. you know, what I tell people is if anybody proclaims to know everything, back away slowly, <laughs> right, yeah. eye contact, and say goodbye because that person's going to be obsolete very quickly. Yeah. Because we're learning more every day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, just our concept of what the endocannabinoid system is is changing rapidly um, as far as the, uh, mm -hmm. the different types of receptors that we're considering yeah. part of uh, the endocannabinoid system. You know, it's way beyond CB1 and CB2 now. Um, you've got the vanilloid oh, yeah. receptors. You've mm -hmm. got the um, G protein. Yeah, unnamed G protein coupled uh -huh. receptors that just have numbers associated <laughs> with them 18 and 35 and 55, all these right. different ones. You've got uh, PPA or gamma receptors, adenosine mm -hmm. receptors, even serotonin receptors. Mm -hmm. um, we're finding that. Uh, a lot of receptors um, appear alongside cannabinoid receptors mm -hmm. and that they're influencing each other, yeah. um, you know, right next to each other on these uh, cell walls. Serotonin is a great example. Oh, yes. um, a lot of times you'll find serotonin receptors and CB1 receptors right next to each mm -hmm. other. Um, so it's just getting more and more complex, um, but it, it's just highlighting um, just how intimate the endocannabinoid system is woven into our physiology it, it's connected to everything and knowing the genetic piece and the cannabinoid pathway genetics it crosses over the neurotransmitters mm -hmm. it crosses over the vitamin d pathway and the gc math pathway mm -hmm. of the immune system um it it got pathways the fet2 yeah. pathway i mean those are all linked with the endocannabinoid system and you know once again this is where we're failing in mainstream medicine is we're not looking at the body as a whole, we're looking yeah. at it as, oh, if you have a neurological problem, you go to the neurologist, and he wants <laughs> right. to stay in the little neuro box. Yeah. If you have and a they, GI problem, you go to the blinders. gastroenterologist, and they want to stay in their GI box. And the immunologist yeah. wants to stay in his immunology box. Everything's connected, people. And yeah. we need to start looking at how those connections impact overall health. And that's when we'll finally be on to some more curative approaches yeah. in our healthcare system. 